Hey everybody, this is Linda Martin, and today I want to talk to you uh, about the concept of if you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And I think what I'm trying to get at by that is, um, especially in our industry, we tend to think that there's going to be some kind of silver bullet solution to the problem that we ha we're having, whether it's uh, fall protection, ergonomics, lone worker safety, automation, robots, uh, location tracking within a facility. Um, you know, there's all kinds of things out there that innovations that are coming out and um, technologies that are being being pushed by vendors. Sorry, vendors, but it's true, right? You want us to buy your products. And the tendency is for us as consumers, right? The safety professionals that, as consumers or companies as consumers is that we just really want somebody to solve our problem. We don't want people to get hurt. We don't want people to die. We want to keep, to keep productivity. We want to make sure that what we put in place is makes our, our lives easier, right? And let's just be, let's face it, right? The sooner we come to that decision, uh, the better off we are and we can move on to something else. But that's, that's not always the right way to go, right? Um, the philosophy on technology and, and innovation has to change. And it has to come from the safety profession or from the management professional or the management team or operations or somewhere within the organization that's gonna take the that time to do several things, right? Um, to research the options, number one, right? Um, to try out some of the options, to actually get the vendors there, different vendors, and really vet what these vendors are doing. And if it's any different than anything else that we're doing, um, that maybe could be done manually or could be done cheaper or um, you know, maybe isn't a great technology solution for your facility at all, right? Um, we need to partner with some of these uh, companies that have technologies and innovations coming out and we need to, to try them and we need to do our own research and we need to ask the researchers at universities to do research on these technologies, which means that somebody has to fund it, right? So anybody out there that can fund some of these things, fund this research because we need to solve these problems without doing our own little case studies on people, right? Because we're doing case studies on people with unproven technology and that's, that's a problem, right? Um, do your due diligence, verify what you're doing and, and don't use technology and innovation, uh, robots, autonomous vehicles, ergonomic solutions, uh, fall protection. Don't use your people as guinea pigs for these things, right? We need to be actually looking at these technologies and talking about them and coming to come some kind of consensus in the industry of what it's like to vet something. Um, you know, I talk a lot about emerging technologies on webinars and um, there's some great stuff out there. But, um, you know, if the companies have this information, share it with us and share, share it with the uh, people that you're trying to sell to, but but share it with the researchers, partner with researchers so that we can actually know that some of this stuff works um, when we pay the big bucks for that type, type of thing. If we're really going to work on saving lives and reducing injuries, then we've got to do our research. We've got to really buckle down and find the solution that fits our needs, okay? And sometimes that's hard, right? Sometimes shit is hard.